there's people that you know took like twenty thousand dollars and turned into a million. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed, join the family right now. So today is another beautiful day. We're about to go out with the boys, hang out for a little while. And there's this craze going on. I gotta tell you guys about what I did with my money in GameStop. There's a GameStop phenomenon going on where there were literally some young people that made a million, millions, millions of dollars, made a million dollars off of this play. And a lot of people are getting into it, guys. If you are watching this video, please do not get into GameStop. I guarantee you, you're gonna lose money if you're buying into this high. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you guys about that later. So Amron and the boys are out in the car and all we've been doing today is we've been watching, I've been watching CNBC. I'm just trying to watch and see what this whole, how this whole thing is gonna play out. And I had a bunch of people like texting me, DMing me, asking about this and I'm like, listen, just stay away. Do not do it, don't lose your money. You can make a lot of money in the stock market but it is risky, you have to know what you're doing. So we are finally stepping away from the TV, we're about to go out. Uh, the boys wanna do something fun today, maybe our normal sky zone, we haven't been out in a while. So we might go to uh, Costco. I don't know what Amber's trying to get today, but uh, I might, I think I'm gonna go for, I kinda want like some Chinese food. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Panda Express, but that's what we have around here. I think it's out of California. So we're gonna maybe get some good Panda Express today. And I'm about to uh, head outside. The boys are in the car. This is usually how I start the vlog. They're all ready and I'm like the last one to leave. So I'm about to roll out and I'll see you guys in just a minute. And we're gonna figure out where we're going exactly. All right, guys, me and Blake, we pulled up. I, we went in the uh, other store. We didn't see anything at home, so now we are at five below. Buddy, please, look, don't play with that on the sidewalk. If you drop that thing, kick it out in the road, you're going to be in trouble. I love it. So, I will put that back. Look, guys, they got all kind of balls. They got little balls, that. every color you think of. We got a soccer, we got a couple soccer balls at home. We don't need no more soccer balls. Please, can I get this? Boy. Please, please. No, 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 no. All right, guys, we about to go in five below, see what they got inside the store. Wait, Dad, if Come I on, get boy. this, I can't get anything. It's a little windy out here. You don't need anything. I want something from the Here we go. All right, guys, we end up coming to Target, and look at this. They got this Care Bear, or look at this Care Bear outfit. I remember back in the day, this was with the girl, yeah. I guess, kids, and girls, oh, yeah, boys. Care you ever seen Care Bears before? Yeah, Care Bear. Yeah, these Care Bears used to there's be like, like, like a, little um, small. There's like, like green, like, um, um, blue, different, yeah, different pink, colors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. These things used to be back in the day. They used to be like the toy. That was like the go-to toy that have, people had. They have hearts on their like exactly. In the middle. Yep. They look know, in the middle, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This one has a clover. I don't know. Yeah. I think most of them had a heart. Yeah, I think this yeah, is maybe like, because it's a. Um, St. Yeah, Patrick's that's Day. what I'm calling. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Care Bear. Look, Blake found this jacket right here he likes. This is pretty fresh. I don't know if mom's gonna go for this. Yeah, it's $30. I'll try, I'll try it on. Really it's, look, it's a white jacket. Almost has like a, uh, almost like rain jacket material. It's a thin jacket. It's not really, it's not really thick. And he walked in that PlayStation shirt today. <laughs> yeah. Like we saw, we actually saw a PlayStation mug in Five Below that we, yeah. we didn't get. It would've been pretty cool. We should've got that. All right, let's, let's see what this guy look like. And you know what, buddy? Kind of your mom will kick you, but I don't know if we're even supposed to try on clothes during the pandemic. It's kind of like a little time. All right, look. All right, guys. So, look, this. You know what? Oh, this is a. It has an inside uh, zipper on the thing, too. I don't know if it needs to be zipped up. That's why it feels kind of tight. Now, what size is this? I'm going to say you extra. like. Eh, it's an extra small. Mm. So, yeah, in a shirt size, you were like. Oh. He's like a uh, medium, I think, medium or large. So this probably no, 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 might be a little too small. Yeah. I wore this uh, today. I, I wore the. Look at this. Oh, Boy, get in my pockets. I got on the little, you know, Kentucky guys, support yeah. Kentucky, Kentucky basketball. Some, some, I wore, wore these shoes for the first time. Some had to break those out. Wanting to know like what the what kind of camera y'all be having, right? Yeah. So look, this. If you guys wanted, this is what our camera looks like. It's a Canon. I don't even know. I think it's like a G, I don't know, G60. Somebody got Amber got this for us for Christmas a little while ago. I don't even remember exactly what kind of camera it is. But anyway, if I do remember, I'll show you guys. So, Blake, I want to show you guys a message. He texts his mom. I said, oh, don't show your mom's number. 
I said, how do you like it? I gotta get my stuff fixed. Look. I said, it's size. Yeah, he sent her a XL. message. He showed her, excuse my screen. My screen is ghetto. What, XL? No, yeah, we told her your mom it was extra large. Oh, here she go. Here she go. Here she go. Grayson. Did you hear us? I heard a little bit. What the heck are you talking about? No, just looking at, we're talking about this Care Bear. Look, did you ever have a Care Bear? Yeah. I think this is like a, just a, uh, St. Patrick's Day version. I don't know. Extra large. I think it's, it's extra large, extra small. I think the jacket may be too small for him. It looks small. He tried it on. It was a little. Yeah, extra small, but like not extra large, extra yeah. small. That's great yeah. size, babe. Mm. Oh, all right. That explains it. All right, guys. So look, we came to the kids' baby section, and we are looking at these. This is basically a, a changing table. We need to get a changing table. We don't have one of those. And was that a dresser or just a, is that a changing table? It's a dresser. But you can put something on top I mean, of this? you can. Because you can always put those, those belts you, like underneath. But you got to make sure. You got to make sure the baby I is secure on top of this. And this part we have? No, I have this. I have the changing table. Oh, the, the mattress. Table. But I, I kind of wanted something like this because, like, look, the, you can take this off eventually. Mm -hmm. Like, this doesn't happen. And then you can have it just a dresser. But that one over there... Um, this one, oh, here's the problem that I'm worried about. Look, that, like, that moves around though. I like how these are separated. Like these, this has drawers in it. Dividers, I do like that. But my thing is like, I want it to be right here because think about when I have a C-section, like bending over. Yeah, and this one just looks like it's too big, too high. No, it might be fine. I just wish it was on, I could move it on. Oh, like on the ground? All right, guys, so I think that this is the one we decided on. We took a picture of this and I think this is the one. So we're gonna get like this and Blake. You like that one? He's sitting in the chair with playing my phone. Do we need another chair? Oh my How's that? No, oh, I think she found something she like. Is this the one? Is that comfortable? Oh my goodness. Looks nice. Guys, look, this is a nice, soft suede chair, rocking chair. Yeah, we have one like, oh, you can twist side to side too. Ooh. Sure. Yeah, so that's nice when you like up late at night and you rocking the baby. You got the seat. You can sit you back in there. Oh. Sleep with the boys in my hand. I know, sitting there. Oh, guys, this is comfortable. Nice suede. Look, me and Blake can both fit in here. And he's up with me like a big baby. I'm going to try this one over here. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. And Amber found this one down here. How you like that one? pretty nice, too. Look, you falling in love. I that one, oh, right that one's how much? Like, 300? That's not bad. How much? Three, that's 300. I don't know how much the other one is. But I think if you this put one, it on your This one's nice. I gotta do it. Ooh, look, me. this one's a little nicer. We got, this has a fancy design. What the other one? Got a little design to it. I don't, I don't see the uh, sign, the price on this one over here. I don't know, this one. I got that little rocker. I don't know, it doesn't see any, I don't see any tags or anything on it. This is nice. And yeah, I think you can get it in two different colors too. If you want it, one of these colors, you can get it in one of those colors. Like the gray? Yeah. Mm. I mean, it would just match. But. She's going to be up at that thing. They're going to be working that thing. Oh, this is nice. Less than three months now. I think we found a winner. Oh, yeah. That'd be All right, look. So now we over here. We found some cleats for Blake. Blake says he's going to play soccer next year. We found, look, they have deals. They have 50 to 70% off on some of the stuff they got. Soccer. We got cleats. Then we got him some shin guards. Look, these Daddy. are the but we got them right here. Boy, put that thing away. These are the cleats we got them. So you can play soccer in those. And that thing is so loud. Please. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. I'm just glad we don't have one of those at home because that is extremely loud. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> this thing kind of reminds me of you. Yeah, it reminds me of you. It reminds me of Blake passing gas and oh. laughing like that. <laughs> It. You like it a little too much. I don't know either. Guys, that is so annoying. Put Hold that on. thing away, please. Oh, look, I'm trying to find one of these. Right. Really laughs. Look at you over here, making this noise, doing this. Look at Grayson over here. Just relaxing. All right, so what did you get? You got a few? Oh. What about these? Who's are these? Grayson. Oh, Grayson got a pair. Hey, yeah, Grayson probably I mean, can't I play like soccer, right? Yeah. Alright guys, so we are back at home and the boys are in the bed now. I, I don't know exactly what was going on today, but Amber told me that 
it was my fault. We went to a few stores, and uh, when we came back home, like the boys just been really crazy today, especially Blake. He has been off the chain. So, uh, needless to say, he got in trouble a lot today. So I figured out. She said that I made the mistake of what I did was I let him, I let, I let them, both the boys, stay up late last night, and. I didn't think about this, but we, they said they want to have a movie night, so I knew today uh, we weren't doing a plan doing a whole lot. So when I let them stay up, Blake had school today, so I guess Amber said that his strict schedule when he doesn't get enough sleep, he just kind of acts crazy and acts wild. And, and we have two boys, we have two young boys. They just can't keep their hands to themselves. They're just always fighting, always pushing, pushing each other, punching each other. They just are like nonstop. So we went to the store today, went to Five Below. And uh, he, he behaved himself. He was did well in the store. But it's just when he gets with his brother, he gets a little crazy. So needless to say, when we got home, they were still getting in trouble. They were still fighting in the back of the truck. They, like, have these tablets. They play with their tablets, like, in the car. And they're fine. They're quiet. But every now and then, somebody will touch somebody, hit somebody. And we're dealing with those problems. So even when they took a bath, they were fighting in the bathroom. They got in trouble again. So we just had to call it quits. And that's why it's quiet. You hear that? Exactly. It's quiet right now because they are in the bed and they are going to sleep and Amber's about to go to sleep also and uh, I'm the last one up. So when I got home, what I did was did some research and I was looking at the whole big fiasco that everybody's talking about, the GameStop. So what I did was I took some, I took some profit and I took a loss. So if you don't know, the whole thing behind the uh, well, number one, number one rule to invest in is there is always risk in investing. Don't think that you can invest money and you may not lose some. Yes, you may win some. Yes, you may lose some. But if you pick more good uh, investments and you're not just gambling, you're going to make more money than you're going to lose. So long story short, what happened was there was a guy that's CEO or co-founder of Chewy, the dog food company that delivers. He bought a big stake in um, GameStop, like 13% back in, I think, August it was. So when he bought this GameStop, of course, a lot of uh, GameStop stock, a lot of people, of course, are gamers. And they're fans of, like, gaming. Gaming is getting huge now. Everybody's on YouTube gaming. So the guys um, band together. You know, they were like, hey, we like GameStop. This is cool. He has a vision for it. He wants to turn the company around. So his plan was, like, make... Uh, GameStop more like an online store and just get like e-commerce involved because you know the new wave is e-commerce people don't really um, go to like Macy's and stuff they, they can shop on Amazon or wherever else so basically what he did was he bought this uh, stake in the company a lot of guys saw that but then they found out that someone was shorting the company and shorting is when you bet against a stock like say Apple stock is going up and I want to um, I believe that's going to go down so what I would do is I would put money betting the stock would go down when that stock goes down the money that I bet, my investment goes up if I'm the short seller. So a bunch of hedge funds, which are people that manage, that manage rich people's money, rich people's money, they uh, were short selling, shorting against uh, GameStop. So the good people of Reddit, they band together in a group called Wall Street Bets, and they started uh, agreeing to pump the stock up along with like AMC, um, Nokia, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, because these were the uh, short stocks. So it's kind of crazy but when you invest, big investors, market makers, they have the ability to like go and watch and see what you buy. They like even have a site that like monitors like what people buy on Robinhood, which is a trading app. So they were going on there, they were looking at what people were buying and they like, we got, they were thinking we got these dummies. So they're going to buy the stock. We're going to short it. We're going to bet against them. When a the stock falls, we get rich. Facebook. And I'm not talking about investment page. I'm talking about everyone. I'm talking about the barbershop talk. When you hear those kind of things, you know something is up. So what I did was I first, I bet against the stock. I made a bunch of money on that. The stock went down. Then I put in a second bet against the stock and it started going down. So I took a loss, but it, it wasn't not, nothing too crazy. Um, I lost some money, but it was like, I want to say like $1,400. So what I did was I took one for the team. Once I saw the Reddit article and I knew what the whole shorting thing was about, um, I took one for the team and I just, uh, I got out. I got out of my short position. If I had stayed in it longer, I probably I would have been up some and I wouldn't have lost the $1,400. But I took one for the team and I just jumped in uh, the Reddit uh, the Reddit army, I guess, because the way I see it is I have made some money off of it. What we're trying to do and what people are doing, um, not just me, is they are taking a stand against people against the people that are big money managers that take advantage of people all the time. They see what we what people are trading. 
and they kind of use that as predatory betting against people. So um, I, I took that loss on that. I got into got into some stock and um, made I traded it. I made a bunch of money on that. Uh, so now I'm just gonna kind of like probably hold in and find and find a spot because my thesis is if I jump into GameStop, okay, and it's at 250 and it goes to 350, I made 100 dollars per share or I made money on the options. But if I lose money. I know how to cut my losses. If I get in at two, you know, two fifty, and it drops down to two twenty-five, and I'm down ten percent, I'm gonna sell. But if you think about millions of people that are, say, um, going with the Reddit army, and they are all buying the stock, they're investing in it, and millions of people are doing this against those hedge funds. Yeah, the hedge funds have a bunch of money, but also if a lot of people band together and they stick with the Reddit army and they run a stock up, the uh, you know the short sellers they are going to get squeezed, and they you know, at some point we'll hopefully give up. So my concern is I'm okay with taking a loss. You know, fourteen hundred dollars on a six figure uh brokerage account isn't gonna hurt me a lot. That's not a big deal. But my thing is if people that got at this stock at two dollars, four dollars, six dollars, ten dollars, twenty, even a hundred, if you're up four times your money, three times your money, or you doubled your money, the people that crazy thing I knew something was up when everybody's talking about investing on Facebook. You know something's wrong. When it's all over Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, then you know. Like, especially got in first that can afford to, you know, take some, not even a loss, but to afford to lose some if they go from, you know, they bought at four dollars or six dollars a share and it's at four hundred and fifty, four hundred dollars, three fifty. They can afford to, to take a loss, but I don't want what I don't want is people to get hurt. People that are unaware. Yes, um, investing always has risk. And you can lose money. So what you need to do is, if you're one of the people that jumped in late, and say you bought it at two hundred dollars at three fifty, you need to take profit. Even if you bought it at three hundred, it's at three fifty or three forty. You need to take profit. The people that got in last should get out first. The people that got in first should get out last. Uh, there, there are some people. The good thing about this, there's some people that are just average people like me and you that uh, that invest. Some people probably got lucky. They didn't know they were just you know on the internet. They're on Twitter or whatever. They found out about this. Um, about what was going on uh, about the, with the hedge fund and just betting against it. So if they bought the stock early and they got in and they made like crazy money on it, there's people that, you know, took like $20,000 to turn it into a million or people that took like, you know, a $1,000 to turn it into like twenty or twenty or $30,000. That's real money for some people. So I think that um, it, it's a possibility that some people are going to get hurt. People that bet against the stock had a chance Thursday to get out when they halted the stock and stopped letting you trade it. Um, so the shares started falling down. So it was that, what that means is people were selling; they were getting out. So uh, the people once it got down like 120 something, it started going up again. When they said they would trade it again on Friday, but it's in limited quantities. So if you got in at a high price, you know that was your chance to like kind of get out um, as the stock as the stock was falling, so you don't get killed. Because I'm sure there's some people that get greedy; they don't understand. Um, how investing works. I'm not a professional investor. I've only invested in for like six or seven years and I made a decent amount of money and I'm starting to figure out, you know, know what I'm doing a little bit. Uh, so hopefully the people um, that are that are most at risk, people that can't afford to lose the money, hopefully they took the bait, they got out, they cut their losses. I mean, even if they lost, lost a little bit, 1%, 2%, that would be good. It's just a lesson learned. But I hate to see someone that can't afford it, that need to pay their rent, um, that are just holding on, that it was greedy and got in. Those are the people that need to get out. They need to hopefully get out with a little win, to get out with you know maybe a big win. But when it's like people on Reddit that are driving this, you have to wonder. There's also people that are in like hedge funds investments that own this stock too. So there's not just uh, people like me and you. There's like hedge fund managers that are making money. They're still they're still making money. They're getting rich. But the only good thing about it is it's an opportunity for average people to get in and uh, make a bunch of money on the stock. So hopefully what happens is I don't know when this thing is going to end. I don't know how long it's going to go, but I'm going to uh, take one for the team. I, I loaded up on AMC and I, like I said, I made a bunch of money on that. Um, and then uh, I, I didn't touch a, a, a Bed Bath & Beyond. And my thing is like this is not investment advice. Don't take this investment advice. I don't want to give anybody the advice to get into a stock or to buy some stock and then uh, it crashes and you lose your money. I can afford to take a loss to, to me, you know, it's it's kind of like something I look back on. And I remember that I was part of that. That I that I, I took um, 
I, I took action. I jumped in and I made some money. And even if I jump in and say the stock goes to 250 and I buy it and then it keeps falling and it goes to 220, I'm not going to stay and be greedy and, you know, stay until it falls to 100 or $50 or $10. I'm the type of person I know risk management. I will get out of the stock, but at least, I mean, what I buy, it won't even, you know, make a dent. It, it doesn't matter. It's, it's only, uh, a little bit but collectively if a bunch of people buy in then uh you know the stock is going to go up and hopefully there will be some people the average people that will benefit from this that can make some money that can uh just stand up to wall street stand up to guys that have been pumping and dumping uh to other people for years but i know in the end there's going to be some people that are going to be greedy people that have gotten late they're going to stay too long and they're going to get crushed and that's the sad thing about it there's like even you know people that are unsophisticated investors don't know what they're doing that got into it that are like trading for the very first time so opened up an account and heard um the game stop was going up and that's kind of the bad thing about facebook and, and different uh social media this is the information is not always there people don't always understand what they're doing they're just taking a risk so my goal is to just to to get in uh to stay tuned to the news to watch to watch the stock to see what it does and um just be, be part of the revolution because as we as we as retail investors stand up to Wall Street and we make money um, and, and we hold into the stock or we buy the stock, you know, if we buy at, a, at a, a decent price and the stock continues to go up, I don't know if the stock is going to go to $100, I don't know if it's going to go to $20 or if it's going to go to 500 or 550 but uh, if we make money, you know, and the majority of the people uh, prosper and they do well, then that's good. But along with us, it's like the wolf in sheep clothing. There's, there's going to be some hedge funds that have already sold some that own the stock that were riding along with us that that you know people don't know who everyone is minus stock that have made some money and that's going to happen but the thing is the goal is to not let the short sellers stomp everybody out and make scaring the people into selling their stock and um, everybody lose not know Elon Musk and Chamath Polly Apatia and uh, Mark Cuban they were all for it they were just saying like you know take your liberty take your chance go get get what you you know you we want in a stock but you need to be very careful and be informed so hopefully all in all guys everything works out yes i did lose some money but yes i made a lot of money also so don't feel bad for me so this is not investment advice again please do what you feel is best for you hope you guys uh enjoy the video sorry we didn't get the vlog so much you know five below has the copyright music but the boys are in the bed now so tomorrow we'll be back with another video thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time peace I can fly